Good evening, everyone. We are live at Argus High School. We have the Lady Dragons varsity basketball taking on New Prairie. Dylan? How you doing? What are we looking at tonight? Uh, we're looking at, uh, so far, an Argus team who is 2-1 and one in the conference, I believe, since we saw their first conference win against South Bend Career Academy. We weren't there for the other two, or for the other win, or, yeah. But I think they should go into this one with confidence, knowing that they've got some more wins under their belt now with three, I believe, now, correct? Three or four. And just having those extra wins after having such a rough start to the season, like you should just – your head should be high. You should be able to come into this game thinking, you know, we have a shot, we're good. You know, let's just come out with a W. And if it doesn't happen, then we'll just move forward from this one. Because New Prairie, they're always a difficult team to deal with in both boys and girls basketball. So is it, don't laugh at me for that. <laughs> no, you, you are exactly they're, right. They're just always very competitive and very physical. And so it's just if you lose this one, you just say, all right, keep our heads up. They're a tough team. We did what we could. You just got to leave it all on the floor. That's really it. You just got to leave it all on the floor. If you fail and try something, it's better than not doing it and regretting it later. All right. So we saw Argus was, you, you mentioned the physical aspect. They, were, they played very aggressive against Culver Girls Academy. Do you foresee them coming out very aggressive in the first quarter tonight? Uh, I do because the games we've seen, they've started with an early press, an early full court press against every team we've seen so far. So I think we can, I think, They'll definitely start out strong. They'll go out guns a-blazing early and try to catch an early lead. All right. Well, we will cut away for a few minutes, a few moments, I should say. We'll have a starting lineup and national anthem. Indeed. And we're back as we get set for starting lineups here soon. First starting for New Prairie. First, it's number 23, Allison Pavlik. Next is number 24, Maddie McShirley. Next is number 30, Jaden Winters. Next is number 32, Jordan Winters. And then 33, Morgan White. And then now for the Dragons. First is Sydney Shepard wearing number 12. Next is Emma Dunlap. After her is Maddie Vanderweel. Then it's 
Sophie Bullenbacher. And then manning the middle is Lizzie Edmonds. And as we get set here, I think the Dragons are going to want to stick to that interior defensive strategy. Edmonds, ton of blocks last game we saw, at least six or seven of them. Well, not just her, but like the whole team combined pretty much because Vanderwill got some of the blocking action too inside. So they're going to look to get that force in the paint again, I think, tonight. And Dragons an offensive tip win. As they look to score here on their first possession. There's Bollenbacher, mid-range jumper. That one's off. And now here comes New Prairie. Out top it's White. New Prairie just trying to set up their offense for now. Dragons sticking to that 2-3 zone we've seen all year so far. Out to the corner. Here's a wing three. That one's off. Over Bollenbacher's head. And New Prairie gets another possession now. Stolen by Edmonds inside on the feed. And now Shepard will set up the offense. Vanderwill baseline drive, can't find anything, spins out of it. Here's Edmonds. Back out to Vanderwill. Here's a three. That one didn't get anything, but it was tipped off a New Prairie player. And it'll be Dragon's ball into their basket. Looks like it went off White's foot. Inbounded to Shepard. That one almost stolen. Here's Dunlap, down screen. Drives in the middle, can't find anything. Here's Bollenbacher, shot fake. Good defense here by New Prairie early. Here's a jumper. Dunlap no good, in and out. You know, here comes White. Pressure by Vanderweel. Going along the right side to the corner. Looks like she hopped there when she got the ball. And that could have. Here's a three. That one's no good either. Dragons trouble rebounding early. Here's a mid range jumper. That one's no good either. And the Dragons will have it going the other way. Allison Pavlik for New Prairie, proving already she's going to fight for the ball tonight. Yeah. Crashing the boards offensively quick in this one. Here's Shepard. Edmonds baseline drive. Almost that one. Don't know who she was passing to there, but it's stolen. Now here's White out top. She'll try to set things up. Skip to the other wing. Winters to winters. That one's a three from the wing. That one's good for Jordan Winters. Here's a drive and a foul. That'll send Dunlap to the line for two. And that one was on Morgan White. That's her first. First one's up, it's off the right and rolls out. And now here comes 
Bella Stoltz coming in for Sydney Shepard. Here's the second. That one's good, though. So the Dragons are on the board. It's three to one. New Prairie up two. Here's another three. That one's good. That's another one from Winters. Second three of the night. See, now's when you got to actually start getting out on her. Communication's got to be better on that side of the zone. Because now she's made two. She's got the release down. She's going to be hot soon. That one's going to be a foul on Maddie McShirley. Team second. Dunlap to the line. Dunlap, first one's good. Second one's also good. Game's about four minutes through, and the Dragons still looking for their first field goal. They're still down, down three. Edmonds the steal, finds Bullenbacher on the right side. Edmonds loses it, but Vanderbilt's there to put it in. And now it's a one point game. Great pass, that was a good pass. Can't get Edmonds it to go. Muscles it away. Finds Edmonds. She'll try to put a move. Hammer action to Dunlap, no good. Fadeaway jumper, that one's no good either. And now here comes White. Here's Pavlik, that one's no good. Rebound Stoltz. And there's a foul inside. That foul on Pavlik. It's her first, team third. And again, she was in the lane fighting for the ball. I think we're going to see a lot of that tonight. Way to keep that one alive, Dunlap there. Here's Stoltz, the mid-range jumper's good. That'll give the Dragons a lead as New Prairie's going to call a full timeout. And the Dragons, a good comeback there. They were down 5-1 to one at one point, I believe. 6-1. Six. 6-1. Six one. Six one. Came back with 6 unanswered. Big missed opportunity on New Prairie's end, though, by McShirley. That pass to get split everyone, split the whole zone, and just couldn't convert. That one would have gave him a little boost. <laughs> and so New Prairie's going to have the ball now after the timeout, and Dragons are gonna hold off on the full court pressure, which I personally didn't see coming based off what I said earlier. And here's Winters on the top of the key. And there's gonna be a kickball on Dunlap. Here's Winters, already two threes for her now. She has all six of the points for New Prairie. Corner three. That one's off the side of the backboard and out. Dragons just can't get a defensive rebound right now. Strip by Stoltz. Then there's gonna be a foul in the paint. 
Now it's going to be on Dunlap. Team's first and her first. screen for white here's a baseline now back out top couldn't find anything feeds inside here's McShirley kick out to Winters for three that one's good she's got nine now if they want to win this game though they're gonna have to find other ways to score than just going to her outside the arc Vanderbilt a good fake here stalled she'll go to the left nothing there Crossover, good pass. That one's good by Edmonds. And it's a tie ball game, nine to nine. White the pull up jumper, that's good. Edmonds is gonna take it. Finds Vanderweel. Good slip by Dunlap. Can't convert though. Here's White. She'll look back to Winters. Swinging it across the top, trying to waste time to get a last shot. And she traveled driving baseline. So the Dragons are going to get the ball now. Finds Edmonds in the middle. Good slip. Good cut. Edmonds the shot, that's no good. Bullenbacher gets it back. Here's Stoltz. That one's off the mark as well. So here comes New Prayer with two seconds now. She'll have to get a shot. It's up, and she was looking for a foul. Didn't get one called. Didn't get the call. Yeah, and there's some parents that disagree with that one. I'm pretty sure you heard that one at home. I could hear it through. <laughs> All right, and so at the end of one, we have New Prairie 11 and Argus 9 off of two scores so far for New Prairie. It's Winters with nine and then White with two, I believe. So far for Argus, Stoltz with two, Dunlap with three, Vanderweel with two, and Edmonds with two. And fouls. New Prairie with three, Argus with one. So, and we have yet to see New Prairie go to the charity stripe so far. Coach Drew actually told me not to give him shout outs this time because that that was that just took up a lot of time, you know. You know, considering we only did one every game, but I <laughs> but he said we should just start using one word a lot. And so I think this one was you know what, I'm gonna make this one a surprise. I'm just gonna say it more. I didn't say it the first quarter. That one cut off by Bullenbacher inside. It's Vanderbilt finds Bullenbacher on the wing. Here's Dunlap. Finds Vanderbilt. 16 footer no good.
Here's White, pull up three, what a shot. What a sweet shot. That extends the lead to five. It's 14 to nine. And now Dragon's looking to answer after they've given up. Quick math, Dylan, come on. They've given up five straight. Yeah, five unanswered. It was tied. I knew that. And we're going to have a substitution. It's number 21, Rachel Dutcher. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I botched that. And we're going to find Dunlap back to Vanderbilt for three. That one's off the mark. New Prairie doing very well rebounding tonight already. And there's a timeout. Timeout, New Prairie. Slid for the ball. It was a good effort. Don't know if it was quite necessary to do that, but the effort is appreciated because, well, that's what coaches preach anyway, you know. Good effort there. Came up yeah. with it. Coach was able to get a timeout before anything, any turnover could happen. So, Which I thought when I heard the whistle, I thought they were calling it out of bounds on the other side because I don't know if her back hit the line or not. So New is going to have it in their front court. Newberry swinging it, trying to find something inside. Here's baseline drive, nothing there. Stolen by Dunlap. She'll go to the basket, nothing there though. Here's Stalt. She wanted that shot, but couldn't find it. And we're going to have a jump ball. And it's going to be Argus ball under the basket. Vanderwiel to inbound. Into Edmonds. That one's no good. She'll get it back, though. Puts it up and in. White cross court. And here's a three. That one's off. Can't come up with it. And there's a foul inside. A little bit of a miscommunication there trying to just get a rebound. That one's going to be on Edmonds, correct? Yeah. First one's off. Only the team's second so far. Both teams playing pretty clean tonight. Pavlik can't get either of them to go. Here's Dunlap, fakes and goes right. Shots up and good. Good drive there by Dunlap to get two. It's now one point game, it's 13 to 14. Dragons down one. A little more pressure around the perimeter. Knowing that there's shooters out there now and they, they're ready to fire. Oh. But jumper's good anyway, and that's Pavlik. Ed 
Edmonds the hook. That one's good off the glass. White pulls up. That one's good. She just can't miss right now. She's got five this quarter, seven for the game. All of her shots have been pretty well contested, too. Here's Bowenbacher three, no good. But yeah, all of her sh the shots she's taken have been pretty well contested. She just knocks him down anyway. Dunlap almost stripped it. Or er, Vanderbilt, sorry. And here come the Dragons the other way. Gets around White. Floater, no good. Edmonds gets it back. Keeps fighting inside, gets a foul, but it's no good. She'll get two from the stripe. Dutcher's first foul, team fifth. Dunlap's first in and out. And group substitution for the Dragons is Shepard, Miller, and Redinger is going to check in. Edmonds second one. That's no good either. And Winters the rebound. Warm that one. Couldn't get the ball though. Here's Winters. Out to the corner. Er, sorry, White. No. Oh. Got my names a little mixed up there. Blocked by Edmonds. Finds Shepard in the corner for three. That one's good. It's tied. And there's going to be a foul on, I believe, Shepard. Yes, Cindy Shepard picks one up. That's her first. McSurley checking back into the game. The lob. That one gets away, though. And Miller picks it up. And the Dragons go the other way. I think she was looking at that one that it bounced off of the yeah. line. She definitely definitely looked like she thought it was out. Shepard, another open look. That one's no good, though. Miller, way to fight for that rebound. Shepard, another three. There it is. Sweet shot there as the Dragons take a three-point lead. It's 21 to 18. Two huge shots for the Dragons there to take the lead. It's, they get some momentum, making New Prairie take one of their timeouts. And now taking the momentum with the lead. Two huge threes. And can hopefully close out the half with the lead. Hopefully they can hold it. And they just got to keep New Prairie off of the offensive glass because that's where they've been killing the Dragons so far. So here's White. There's a foul and the shot wouldn't go. And that one's going to be on Vanderweel, her first.
Winter first shot. That one's off back iron and out. New Prairie yet to hit a free throw tonight. How many attempts have they taken? Do you know? That's three. That's their third? Okay. That one's off too. And here's White, offensive board. No good on the shot though as Edmonds brings it down. And there's still a minute 20 left here in the first half. Redinger finds Shepard. Into Edmonds, airmails on the pass. Shepard keeps it alive. Tried to shoot it from behind the basket, but couldn't get it to go. To Winters for three. That's good. Tie ball game. We're back. It's 21-21. And that is her fourth three of the game. And there's 40 seconds left in the half. Finds Miller. That one's no good. Vanderbilt got the offensive board, and there's a foul inside. She'll get taken to the line. That one's on Pavlik. It's her second. Team sixth. First one's good for Vanderweel. And there's a substitution. It's going to be Dutcher coming back in the game. Vanderbilt second, back iron and out. Here's Winters. Finds White to slow things down. Yep, looks like New Prairie's gonna play for the last shot. And White for three, that one, I think that was tipped. Was it? Or did it just slip? Five seconds left, Dragons need a shot. Edmonds for three. That one's short, and as time expires, Dragons have a two point, or have a one point lead. Sorry, it's 22 to 21 as we head into halftime. Now, upcoming as always, we have Sir here with our unofficial halftime report on scores as soon as we get the numbers added up. So far, Shepard with six, Stoltz with two, Dunlap with five. Vanderweel with three, Edmonds with six for Argus. For New Prairie, Pavlik with two, Winters with 12, and White with seven. And something we haven't seen be the theme of the game so far is outside shooting. We've mostly seen great interior defense and rebounding being huge things. Tonight, it's definitely perimeter shooting Especially on both sides, even. Yeah. Winters. Shepard has two threes. Winters has four. Winters has four. And, and White with one. White with one. So, yeah, threes. Three-point shots are going to be a huge part. They've already been a huge part of this game and why the game is so close. Yeah. Well. Right. And so now at halftime, we're going to have some commercials here for your viewing pleasure. And we will be back with second you. half of tonight's showing between the Dragons and the Panthers, right? Yeah. Hold on. Is it the Panthers? The Cougars. I don't know why I got that confused. I just had it earlier and <laughs> lost it. And the Cougars from New Prairie. As the Dragons have a one-point lead, it is 22 to 21. And like I said before, story so far, outside shooting. They've hit five or six threes so far, right? They've got five threes so far. And then we have the two or three. Two, two so far from Shepard. A lot of other points, though, sprinkled around uh, the Argus roster. New Prairie has three people on the score sheet so far. And it's mostly Winters and White, I believe. Winters and White with all but two points so far in Winters. Winters has 12. 
And New Prairie's gonna start with possession as the second half gets underway. New Prairie, a lot white, of times, drive. New Prairie a lot of times will drive and pass yeah. on the opposite side when the Argus defense has shifted, leaving uh, Winters wide open on that other side. So probably look to see Argus try and squash that here in the second half, keep the ball out of her hands so she can't hit any more threes. And there's going to be a foul on Vanderbilt. That's her second team's first of the half. Shepard tried to run with it. And there's a block by Edmonds. Shepard ends up with it. And there's a travel. Yeah, trying to get that pass out. Had the ball with two hands and took a hop. Yep. And the Dragons look like they shifted their defense to a 1-3-1, one, one, I believe. Looks like. Winters to White. If you're wondering, there are two Winters that play for New Prairie, just to clear that up. Jaden, the sophomore, and Jordan, the senior. I don't know if we've seen Jaden, and uh, Jaden actually started tonight. Yeah, they both started. But I have, you know, yeah, they're both down on the floor now. And New Prairie, I think, hasn't gone too deep in their bench so far, only using one or two off the bench so far. Winters drives to the middle. Lane collapsed quickly, though. And Pavlik trying to draw a foul, couldn't get one. And now here's Dunlap. She'll drive, finds Vanderweel, sweet pass there. First two points of the half. And the Dragons have a three point lead. White the shot. That one's good. Okay. Extending her range on the pull up jumpers. It's her second three of the night. Here's Vanderweel. There's a foul inside, couldn't get the shot to go, but she'll go to the line for two. And there's a, I don't know if that's right. I don't have a 25 yeah, on the roster. Yeah. <laughs> and here's a three. Here's Winters outside. That's no good. Pavlik gets the rebound, puts it up and in. And with that, New Prairie takes a lead. Here's Bullenbacher. She won't, she can't get a shot. Feeds her again. That one's stolen by Pavlik. She'll take it herself. And it's stolen again by Bullenbacher, and there's going to be a foul on Pavlik. And that's Pavlik's third foul. And Dutcher will Dutcher is going to come in for Pavlik. And find Shepard through the pressure of this New Prairie defense. Second half of the JV game, we saw New Prairie do a lot of double teaming. Finds Edmonds inside. That one's good. Dragons retake their lead. Got to think we'll see the same out of the varsity.
Here's Wyatt. I wouldn't be surprised if she pulled up again. I mean, she's done it before. She could easily do it again and hit that shot. She's shown she can hit it. And she does. Like, like that. That's a three from White. She now has 13. Vanderweel drive to the inside. That's no good. And it's going to be out on Winters. And the Dragons will get the ball into their basket. Vanderbilt to inbound, finds Bullenbacher. That's a two, her foot was on the line. But it misses anyway. Rebound. Edmonds, that one's good. Gets a good bounce and ties the game. Shepard with a little bit of disruption there. There's Winters on the wing. Looked for, looked for Dutcher inside. Vanderwell, good coverage. Here's White from outside. That one misses, though. Dutcher the rebound. Stolen by Edmonds, trying to force it in the middle. And White's going to get called for the foul, trying to strip that one from Edmonds. That's going to be her second, team's third. And Bella Stoltz is going to come in for Sophie Bullenbacher. Here's Dunlap, swings to Stoltz. Ball screen for Shepard. Vanderweel from outside. That's good. And they take a three point lead. It's 32 29. Both teams still firing from outside. It's still a lot of time to go. Dutcher gets on the floor to keep that one alive. And they called a jump ball there? Yeah. Yep. And so Dragons will have it. New Prairie starting to pressure. Shepard surveying the floor, trying to run the offense. Edmonds drives baseline. Finds Vanderweel for a corner three. It's good. They extend their lead. It's six now. It's 35-29. Cougars pushing it down the floor. Here's Winters for three. She can't answer. Edmonds comes away with the rebound. Dunlap finds Stoltz. She'll drive baseline. Can't find anything there. Brandon Wheel to the middle. Kick out Dunlap for three. Can't get it to go. And there's going to be a foul on Shepard trying to strip that one away. It's her second. Team second. Winter's first shot, that's no good. And New Prairie still has not made a free throw tonight. And a New Prairie substitution, Taylor Nelson is gonna come in for Dutcher. And Samantha Redinger is gonna come in for Sydney Shepard. Winter's second shot, that one's good. Dunlap loses it there, but gets it back. Find stall, it's almost stolen. She'll drive, find Vanderweel, she'll drive. Floater, gets nothing. Still almost and came up with the ball. And that one is gonna go out off of the hands of Nelson. Great effort by Vanderweel trying to get that. Especially coming from the other side of the court.
Finds Redinger, mid-range jumper. That one's no good. And McShirley there with the rebound as White goes the other way. She'll pull up from three. That's short. Edmonds gets on the floor to Vanderweel. Cross court, here's Redinger. She'll take a dribble and it's blocked. Good block by Winters. Sweet defensive recovery there. And here's Redinger from outside. That's no good. And White comes away with the rebound. And there's going to be a foul inside. And that wasn't a shooting foul? Not sure how that wasn't a shooting foul. I thought she was going for a shot there, but doesn't matter. Winners gets it anyway. It's 35-32 with approximately 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Stoltz fakes drives, puts it up. That's no good. She gets it back, though, but it goes out of bounds. On the line. Good effort to keep it alive, though. In 30 seconds, I think they're going to try to hold it for the last shot, but. Been wrong before. Very true. Second quarter. And Dunlap's going to steal that one. And she's going to lay that one up nice and easy as they extend their lead to five. Ten seconds. She can't let White pull up. Oh, and that's. There's a foul on Dunlap there. It's her second foul, team's fourth. And that'll send White to the line. Three seconds still on the clock. And you can see Mr. Jennings putting his arms up, saying, make sure you guard her out. Yeah. On the perimeter. Yeah. And for good reason. Here, first one. Went in, and now here's the second. That one also goes for. Chucks it down court, and can't get that one to go. Just a little bit off. And the Dragons end the third quarter with a three-point lead. It's 37 to 34. Dragons ending it with four fouls, and the Cougars ending it with three. Not a very foul-heavy game like we're used to seeing those last two games we covered. They were in the bonus pretty early, I would say. One of the teams was at least in the others we've covered. And this one, I don't think they've reached the bonus even in the first whole first half, did they? And so we're getting set now for the fourth quarter. Argus looking to hold their lead because it's still a close game. Anything can happen. Well, anything can happen in any game. We've seen it before. We've seen comebacks. Not just here, not just in college, not just in the NBA. We've seen it everywhere. Comebacks just happen. But this one, I wouldn't really call it a comeback, but. I mean, White drives off the glass. And there's going to be a jump ball that will go to Argus.
Newberry is trying to speed up Argus. Bullenbacher is going to slow things down, though. Good work to get it down floor. Find Shepard. Dunlap will find Shepard up top. Edmonds trying to break free inside. Can't do it. Yeah, but surely giving her a pretty difficult time over there. Shepard in the corner for three. That one's off. Dunlap hustles for it, though, and gets it back. Here's Edmonds. Fakes. Finds Bollenbacher. She'll go up inside. That's no good. And Winters comes down with the rebound. White pushes it down floor for Pavlik. And blocked by Edmonds, it looked like. Blocked, blocked again. again. Here's Winters. That one's no good. And rebound Vanderweel. That one. I, that pass, tip I think, was tipped. Over. Yeah. Yep. So both teams going cold here in the fourth. Winner from out, winners from outside. That one's no good. That one's going to be out on Pavlik. Or, sorry, not Pavlik. McSurley. McSurley. Six and a half to play. Vanderbilt goes the other way of the ball screen. Floater, no good. Edmonds gets it back. That one's no good either. And there's a foul inside. That'll send Vanderbilt to the line. Fouls on Morgan White. That is her third. Vanderbilt's first shot. That one's good. First points of the fourth quarter off of that free throw. And Redinger is going to come in for Shepard. Second one's also good for Vanderbilt. Looks like the Dragons went to man. Back cut, tip bobbled though. Here's Winters, finds McSorley. Here's Winters, drives middle, Bullenbacher won't let her. Ball screen, Winters, ooh. Going to be a foul on Vanderweel. That's her third. Team's fifth. First one's good for Winters. Second one's off, though. Dunlap comes away with the rebound. Redinger has it. Had the shot, didn't the take shot it. Wide open. I heard I heard a lot of people saying shoot it. But found Edmonds and she was off. There Another she was looking block. for a foul there though, I think. And that pass. And that pass just got away. It's gonna be new prairie ball. Finds McShirley, that one's off. Dunlap comes away with that one. Strander will dump inside to Edmonds. Sweet pass there on the. Good ball movement there by the Dragons. Stems their lead to six. It's 41 to 35 with five whole minutes to play practically, so. There's Still McShirley a lot of game left. Trying to get a move on Edmonds. Backing her down. Can't get it to go. And here's Pavlik. Chucks one up and draws a foul. It's 
That's only her second foul. But on the next one, Newberry will be in the bonus. First one's good for Pavlik. And substitutions for the Dragons. It's Cindy Shepard and Isabella Stoltz coming in for Emma Dunlap and Sophie Bollenbacher. And Pavlik gets set for her second. Pavlik, that one just barely gets the rim. Just no, barely hit the rim. Vanderbilt kept that one alive. Here's Redinger. She'll look to drive. Gets stopped, though. There's Shepard. A three from the wing. No good. Just misses. And White moves the other way. She'll drive. Shot over Edmonds is no good, and Vanderbilt gets the rebound. Still a five-point lead for the Dragons. It's still 41 to 36. Uh, looking for the back cut, but Redinger stopped. Zigged when she said a zag. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> and here's White, Vanderbilt covering. Puts on a crossover move just inside the line. No good. Out. She's, she's been dangerous all night. And we're going to get a Dragons timeout. It's going to be full as they hold a five-point lead. Still 41-36. Odd to see, though. Not much scoring so far in this quarter. We've seen a lot of more scoring than we've seen in other games in the first three. But this one is more of more intense defense, I think. Still a lot of shooting, just not a lot falling. Yeah. Only four this quarter for Argus, two for New Prairie. So as the time as the clock winds down, you got to think that offenses are going to get a little more, a little more aggressive to get to the basket and score some points. And this team's try to stop those drives. There'd probably be more fouls drawn. And we'll see probably both of these squads hit the bonus. Yeah, next foul. Dragons Newbury. only have one to give. New Prairie will be in the bonus on the next one. And as we've seen before, might come down to free throws. As we get going again after the timeout, it's Dragon's ball. Pavlik is going to stay back. She would have been the one guarding the ball out of bounds. So now it's Vanderbilt against Pavlik. Vanderbilt will go left, up, and out. And out. Here's White trying to use Pavlik's screen, but it goes off her foot. Finds McShirley inside. Good cut on that, so on that side. Here's Winters trying to drive. It's stopped. Pavlik to Winters. Winters baseline drive. Edmonds stopped her. And here's Winters, pull up floater, it's good. Redinger in the corner. McShirley still giving Edmonds a rough time inside. That three's no good. Edmonds fights for it, can't get it. And Redinger's going to cut off the pass, and there's going to be 
a jump ball. What's, what's the call here? I, He's calling a. Was it a jump ball? He never, never really. He never, never really, really specified, said. but I think I think that's what he intended. Right now, it looks like it's a jump ball. It's so a new Prairie, prairie will out of get bounds. it under their basket. Finds McShirley. Here's White outside. That one can't. That one won't go. She's missed the last couple outside the arc. And it's going to be a push off. What they call the block. It's going to be a block on Nelson. That's her first, team's fifth. So getting closer to the bonus. Oh, Stoltz. had Stoltz in the lane, didn't Stoltz hit her though. Wide open. Here's Edmonds. Trying to get around McShirley. There's a foul, but it was on the floor. Good shot there. Good to draw the contact, but got called back. Out to Stoltz, finds Dunlap. Nelson. Nelson not giving in. Here's Vanderbilt's three. That's no good. She'll get it back. Drives baseline, finds Stoltz. It's good. <laughs> Lead back to five. It's 43-38. Dragons up. And there's full timeout. New Prairie called. Looks like they only have one full left. Argus left with two full and two thirties. Good movement here by the Dragons to keep this lead. And yeah, I was a little disappointed by that. I heard Steve was going to try to play Christmas Music of Pioneer for my game, and I never heard any. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. Yeah, I don't think they did play any Christmas music. Because I was warming up, and I heard, like, you know, not Christmas music. And I could see it at a timeout, maybe not warming up. Well, <laughs> they didn't they do it? They did it here, didn't they? More than likely. I feel like I cheated out of a good playlist. Yeah, there's next year. Yeah, true. Hey, well, actually, if they played at LaVille tomorrow. They played it. Yeah, you're right. They very well That's could. Right. And here's Winter. She's going to take it to the left side. Ball screen. McShirley finds the slip over her head. Good set there by New Prairie. Would have worked, but just the pass a, was just a little off. Just a bit outside just there. Just a bit outside. That's right, Harry. And as, as we stated earlier, here's New Prairie with that aggressive defense. They're going to try and get, get as many possessions as they can. And the Dragons found their way into the bonus. As Dunlap will go to the line for one and the extra shot. Dunlap's first is up, and it's good. She'll get another. Dunlap second is in and out. rolled out. Here's White outside Vanderbilt guarding. Floater no good. Tipped away from Edmonds. Pavlik, Pavlik comes, comes up away with it. with it. And here's Winters outside, no good. McShirley gets it back though off the glass and in. It's a four point game now. It's 44 to 40. 
And there's 23 seconds left. Got to get across half court, and they do. And there's a foul there on White. Vanderbilt's going to go to the line for one in the bonus. It's White's fourth. Some fans not too happy about backcourt play on that last one. Vanderbilt drops her first. It's a five-point game, 45-40. 16.7 left still, though. Vanderbilt's second shot's up, in and out. Here comes White the other way. Stoltz trying not to foul. Pavlik drives, blocked by Edmonds. Here's McShirley. Getting a little aggressive inside, swinging her elbows. And calling that foul on Bullenbacher. And so McShirley's going to go to the line for one of the bonus with three and a 3.6 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, that no call there burned a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, and it's good. Takes a bounce off the front iron and in. And the Dragons are going to take a timeout as they lead it by four with about three and a half left. And so McShirley, oh, that's loud. Oh, that was really loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. McShirley, second shot's up and good. It's now a three-point game. And they're going to work to get it in, but they take a timeout because they couldn't find anyone. So there's another timeout taken by the Dragons. And it's going to be full. And when you were trying to mute mine there, you or when you tried to mute yours, you muted mine. Because I was trying to say something and then nothing came through. Right. Sorry and about that. Gosh. <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> Dragons just looking to get the ball in just to run these three sec the last three seconds off of the clock. They don't want New Prairie to get that ball back and potentially get another foul. So far a good game here tonight. Very good game. It stayed close the entire time. I think the biggest lead was in the very beginning when it was. I, I, th I don't think the lead has gone over five. No, it's been five or six. It's been pretty close all night. So the Dragons will have it. They're just trying to run the rest of the time off the clock. And Dunlap gets fouled. About a second was shaved off the clock. And that'll be White's fifth. And she's going to, yeah, she's, she's done for the night. And uh, Nelson's going to come in for her. Yeah. 
Dunlap's going to get one in the bonus, try to extend this lead from a one possession game. It's up and it's no good. But, and there's a timeout. Full timeout. Ball's going to be out on the baseline. That'll be New Prairie's last timeout. With .5 left, they're going to they're going to have to get down the court quick. And like it's going to have Don't take my phone, Jacob. Hey, the Nets crushed the Warriors. Oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Important NBA score update. Brooklyn Nets 125, Golden State Warriors 99. Wow. Yeah. Was not expecting that. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving really showed off tonight against Kevin Durant's former team. And so, yeah, New Prairie's going to have to Hail Mary pass this one all the way down the floor just to get a shot off. Less than a second left. Got to think there's going to be. Dragons full court pressure. And there it Hail is. Hail Mary pass down court. But, but. And that's the ball game. Winters couldn't come up with it. It's going to be Argus ending up on top of this one. It's 45 to 42. They take this one the cl close margin. Outside shooting cooled off in the fourth quarter. I don't think we saw one outside in the fourth, did we? Nope. One of those threes that White put up, though, there was one I remember from this left wing where they were shooting in the second half. She had no one within 10 feet of her. That one could have decided this game of who. It would have been tied now, but you never know what would have happened if that shot went in. And as we get our numbers added up, we're going to have our unofficial scores for both teams. So the Dragons come away with their fourth victory tonight. Unofficial official scoring for the Argus Dragons. Shepard with six, Stultz with four, Dunlap with eight, Vanderweel with 15, and Edmonds with 12. For the New Prairie Cougars, Pavlik with five, McShirley with four, the high point scorer of the night, Jordan Winters had 18. Gosh. Morgan White had 15. Yeah, she had those 12, 12, 12 in the first half, the just off All threes. off three-pointers, yeah. So that was the big uh, big thing for her tonight. And then uh, White for New Prairie as well burned off a couple threes. So, But Vanderweel came back with two of her own, hit some free throws late down the stretch that uh, made the difference. So... All right, guys, and that's going to do it for us. Here at RTC4, we thank Jacob Stone doing camera. We thank Phil Dean doing our computer work over here. And from Joe and Dylan Kindig, we say good night. And, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Very happy holiday to all of you.